Stimson. By two, over Seve Ballesteros of Spain and Bernhard Langer of Germany. By three, over Ben Crenshaw, well, of Texas, and Larry Mize, the Masters champion. Well, to bring you up to date, in case you've just joined us, well, it's pretty difficult. A lot of things have happened here today. But in essence, Tom Watson, who led when the day began, screwed up the first hole pretty badly. He made a six after having a perfect drive down the middle. Looked like he might make four or even a three. He made a six, just as he did yesterday. But after that, he steady. Now has started to putt the way he putted yesterday again and has re-seized the lead. Uh, Seve Ballesteros has been playing steadily, very steadily, and so has Scott Simpson, who just hangs in there. At one point, he had taken the lead by himself, dropped back once again, steady. Well, that's the way it is right now. A man who a short time ago completed his round today is Jack Nicholas, our colleague at ABC Sports. And uh, Jack, not too good again today, 77, but um, a good effort for that fifth U.S. Open championship. Well, Jim, uh, two good first rounds, uh, two bad last rounds, and... Uh, uh, for myself, uh, the golf course really was uh, had changed for me. The first two rounds, the golf course was relatively soft, uh, and I think a lot of fellows were shooting low scores. The, the last two rounds, the golf course got a little faster, and I had 12 greens all four rounds. And uh, the last two rounds, I had 36 or seven putts, and the you know the first two rounds, I had 28 or 30 putts. So that's the difference from my my standpoint. You'll be back for your 32nd U.S. Open next year. Jack, <laughs> what about the golf course today? How is it playing? How are the greens? Well, Jim, I think that you're seeing a lot of the fellows are having trouble with the greens. Uh, I know that I had trouble with them all day. I could not judge a the speed. They're very different speeds. One's slow, one's fast. They look like they're one speed and they're another speed. I don't think the USJ did anything to them last night. I think it was the early morning moisture. Uh, on the golf course, that, and, and the players don't have enough local knowledge here of knowing which greens dry out fast and which greens don't. As a result, we're seeing uh, uh, some very unusual putts. We're seeing some very quick putts. They're seeing some greens like the 16th green. When they get there, they're going to find it's, it's like absolutely like a rock. Uh, the 17th and 18th greens are extremely slow. Uh, the, uh, uh, the guys are just coming up on, on 13. 13 is, uh, uh, looks very fast. I just saw Larry Mize leave a putt short. The green is slow. Mm -hmm. uh, they're having a hard time, as I'm sure, as I did, finding the speed, and I think uh, I think that's what's causing a lot of high scores. A very interesting point. We're going to take a look at uh, Bernhard Langer right here, Jack. Uh, he's going for a birdie. Bernhard Langer of Germany, two shots out of the lead. On the fifth 